To put the mathematical chance of life elsewhere in the universe into perspective, it's important to understand Earth's place within it. Our galaxy contains an estimated 400 billion stars. If the planets around just 0.001% of these harbour some kind of life, that still leaves 40 million, almost three times the population of Chile, that could support life. Once you then consider our galaxy is just one of billions in the known universe, it's enough to twist anyone's melon. The universe may be vast, but it's conspired to put Antonio and I together on this mission. We're going to be there where this thing happened right now. The odds that we're going to see UFOs, I, I, I doubt it, but uh, you never know, of course. No. But <laughs> Antonio has his doubts, but as we weave our way through Santiago, I know from personal experience that stranger things have happened. I'm Sean Ryder, lead singer of the Happy Mondays. I'm in Chile on a mission to find out the truth about the country's UFO sightings. Or on the trail of one of Chile's most curious recent cases, I managed to get official military clearance to the Chilean Air Force Base, El Bosque, outside Santiago. Commander Perry, a fighter pilot and instructor, is here to meet us. Hello, sir. Hello. Hiya. Nice to meet you. Welcome. And you. Welcome to the Air Force Academy. Hello. Thanks for having us. Home to the Chilean Air Force Academy, the skies above the base are often a buzz with military aircraft. But on November the 5th, 2010, it played host to something much more mysterious. Anyway, this is good. When I left Northern England, it was snowing, so this is a lot better. <laughs> this is the base, is yeah. it? Where the... That's right. Was, uh, you, was you here that day? I was there. I was in the part of the formation of uh, F5. He was flying? That's right. Wow. What do you think that is? Well, well, I certainly don't think it's an insect. Oh, you know, yeah, as as somebody really uh, said. Maybe dust in the camera or no? No, no. no. I didn't say anything. I was just too busy seeing the, the formation. Yeah, yeah very busy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when you was flying that day, what speed were you doing in your plane? Uh, we passed uh, about uh, 350 knots. And that thing was probably going about 3,000 miles an hour. Very fast mm -hmm. here. I'm really excited uh, to, to be here and see, uh, yeah. you know, see where it was all happening. Chile's governmental body dealing with UFOs, CIFA, has a rigorous process of determining what constitutes a genuine sighting. And the El Bosque video has stood up to all their tests. El 95% de la información que a nosotros nos llega, nosotros de alguna manera la aclaramos o la desechamos. Eh, nosotros tenemos alrededor de 200 casos, los cuales ha, han sido investigados y que para algunos, y que no tenemos explicación eh, prácticamente. Digamos, o que tienen una explicación que es un fenómeno aéreo no identificado. Of the seven videos captured that day, so far only one has been officially released by CIFA. In it, the suspicious object passes through the frame several times as the military jets take part in the air show. We're heading to the exact spot from where the video was shot, and I can't wait to see it for myself. This looks familiar. That's right. And this is pretty much the, the same position that the video was made. OK, so we got the video here. We can reconstruct, actually, the incident as it happens. There are the hills. That's yeah. right. And we see the building. And that's the building, right? You can see the front, the forest, and the buildings on the front. It's the same position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And no. nobody saw anything. Nobody saying. Ah. Yeah, no. Anything. No, I guess it took a while, right? Until people start reviewing the that's footage. That's right. right. And nothing shows up on radar. We use actually a, a radar to keep the distance uh -huh. between okay. yeah. all formations. Uh -huh. So and that day, nobody reports nothing. Unusual. Right. Even though no one noticed anything that day, I'm intrigued to find out Commander Perry's professional view of just what the UFO might be. So you've seen the video of this. I mean, what, what do you think that is? Good question. <laughs> I think it's, it's strange because it's uh, nothing uh, military or civilian aircraft. It's not a bird. So, so maybe we have uh, something out of this planet in that uh, video. Coming from an Air Force pilot, this is music to me ears. 
even in the UFO hot zone like Chile, authentic sightings are rare. I've been here less than 24 hours and already my investigation is up and running. Bueno, en general los pilotos eh, o la gente que trabaja en aeronáutica, tanto pilotos como controladores de tránsito aéreo y de radar, eh, nosotros les llamamos testigos calificados porque la preparación que ellos tienen es distinta a la de una persona que trabaja en otra cosa. Y por otro lado, eh, el que está más familiarizado con distintos modelos de aeronaves o distintos fenómenos meteorológicos que están ocurriendo hoy día en nuestra atmósfera. This is our first bit of real evidence. It's, uh, I'm over the moon. You know? yeah. Yeah.